All right, we're going to go ahead and change the complete mirror assemblies on both sides of this car uh, to 2002 Passats and many other year make models and also Audi A4s come off basically the same way. I have bought a pair of turn signals with LED lights in them. They're uh, mirrors, I mean. There's the new lenses or covers for them. <coughs> And we'll get started on taking this apart. Um, all right, the first thing we got to do, there's two push-pull clips. There's one right here. Whoops, there's one right here, just behind the light. And another one right here at the end of the pocket, down at the very, very bottom. Um, you pull those out. They're really simple. There's like a center piece that pushes in. You just grab it with a pick or a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out. I'll show you later in the video. I got new ones to put in there. Uh, this piece here is just a pull handle. Try to blow, blow the door panel. There's two screws in here. We got to get these two screws. One there, one there. This piece in the center actually pulls out. And what I do is I take a pick and I'll show you here in a second. <laughs> Alright, I, I just kind of stuck it back on there to show you. On the inside, there's a lip right here. Runs all along the vertical end. Just grab your pick, just kind of run it up the edge, and right about, you know, in the middle or off to the side, grab it and pull it. And this just has three clips. There's two that's stuck there, and there's one that's stuck here. <coughs> and there's your screws right there. Get a screwdriver and take them out. All right, you just stick your screwdriver in there. These come out pretty easy. Um, I'd use my little impact if it wasn't so darn noisy and that's basically it for all the screws that hold the door panel on then we're going to go ahead and just all right, got both of those and we're just going to go ahead and pick the door panel up and off see if I can set you down somewhere I don't even know if you can see that alright <clears throat> there's a bunch of uh, plastic clips and just pull it up with our screws and we got a couple of electrical plugs we need to undo in here and the door handle pull plug or puller cable There's our door panel. <coughs> and then the tweeter assembly just has two plastic clips at the bottom. And you just pull it off. It doesn't come off that easy, but it comes off pretty easy. And then you got a one Torx in here to hold the headlight. And then here's the headlight plug. You want to make sure you undo that. Because your new one is going to have another plug that plugs right into there. <coughs> Alright, we're ready to get this um, bolt out. <coughs> Damn. But uh, I'm using one hand so I can't hold the mirror. Hmm. Throat sore. So what I did is I just took the wire plug and then looped it under this stiff, really stiff plug. So that way when we let her loose, <coughs> now if you have to pound on that bolt to get it loose, uh, I would stop so you don't bust this aluminum cast center off the inside of the mirror. Um, you know, bang on it with a hammer a little bit, spray some penetrating oil on it. That's basically all that holds it in the mirror. <coughs> First thing you want to do is uh, trial fit the nut into the mirror. And then we will uh, get the mirror stuffed up there and see if we can make it fit. Uh, 
I wouldn't think they would be, you know, just a so-called direct fit. No uh, tweaking required, but you know that's not going to happen. All right, got the bolt on there. Okay, this is the plug that we talked about, the mirror. This one actually has an extra plug on it, and that is for the mirror uh, light that blinks on the outside. <coughs> now we'll want to make sure we pop the mirror on. I'm going to check the mirror uh, for this, to check the glass for this one alongside the glass on that one to make sure it's not, you know, kind of wanky looking. So then we'll go ahead and... Uh, you know, try out fit everything. Alright, we got the mirror on. We're gonna go ahead, plug it up. There's the plug, and here's the plug off the um, Okay, plugged in. Like I said, this plug is for the turn signal that's in the mirror. Right now, we're just gonna go ahead and try it and make sure you know that it works okay before we go any further. We'll have to get the door panel up here to do that so I'll get the key in, get the key on, and I'll be back. Alright, the mirrors they snap right on. You've just got to make sure you just line these little tabs up right there and right there. It pops right in and there's a little piece. That little metal thing is actually attached to the mirror. You just got to make sure you have it on the outside of the plastic. You can't actually even install the mirror because it'll hold it so far away. If you don't get this in, that'll be the end result. And then there's the light. And then we'll move on to the next step. And then there's the outside mirror piece. It just basically snaps on. And this is a little bit more pronounced than the stock mirror. See, that's just barely even a lip. Where this one here has got a it's got a pretty good lip to start out with. But it fits, it looks okay. Color match. <coughs> then we'll uh, get to putting some wires to it. Now, this little wire is a little bit trickier than it looks. Okay, you got a, quite a bit of wire there, and that's the plug. <coughs> you have to poke the wire through this rubber grommet here. Get it into the door frame. And then snake it through here. You can do that with a coat hanger or something because it's just right above dash level. If you pull this little kick panel out, it's just, that hole is, you know, right above dash level. Um, you could pull the door panel loose. This inner door panel is actually the power door motor and window track, all in one piece. <coughs> um, you know, if you had a motor go bad, you could change it. You know, without really dismantling the door if you're a little creative with the inside bolts but uh, yeah that's if you order a regulator you'll get this whole panel <coughs> I actually have a couple saved over there somewhere but mm. the tweeter just pops back on you stick it in up here first and push it down and then once you line the holes up you just push these in there's a little groove for your new mirror cable it's in here you take that off it's just a little protective for the door panel so it doesn't squeak <coughs> okay, that one comes out, okay, comes out like that, and then you have your new piece, that's it, <coughs> it pops in that easy, got more here, I've got a bag of them I bought off the internet, I have to dig them out here, and if I do another one, this would be a good time to flip the door over, spray it down, get it clean, you know, while you're uh, working on your mirror. All right, fishing your feeder line from here all the way through here to the to this little opening right here is probably the biggest pain in the neck. Um, unlike most cars where this hole just basically attaches here on the inside and it's just open door, this one is actually a tube that comes in here, comes up here, comes across here to right there. So you just pull that wire out and that's the hole. It's like a piece of plumbing. But you can get it from here to here, but then pushing with the bend is the hardest. So you have to take, it's actually simple to 
simple fix. Okay, get your pick up under the uh, rubber and uh, it just pops right off. Okay, you do that there and that there. See, now you can stick your finger up in here, pull this piece of insulation out. Um, now you can stick your finger up in there, up in there, and uh, you can feel your wire, and then once you get your wire on the straight, you can sit there and feed it like that with a pair of pliers, and it'll come out here when you stick your finger up in there. Then you hook your wires to it and pull your wires through. All right, here's the wire. Through that hole, it comes out this hole here. <clears throat> Cuts across there. You also need this boot off because your wire is going to hang up going through. So we'll go ahead and pull it to show you. Yeah, get that out of the way, make sure it doesn't hang up. Pull it through. Okay. Just make sure these are plugged in. Okay. wires in the cab. Now we'll hunt for our the, the perspective wire which is the one I showed you but it's totally opposite over here um, and I'll show you here. Went and cleaned up all the boot marks off the doors and the sides of the dash and my greasy pant leg laying against that shifter and my greasy arm up there. I got all that clean. I got it leathered down. I'll wipe it down. The leather's about absorbed all of it. <coughs> Did headrest, door panels, seats, everything. All right, what I've done is 3,000 grit and buffed just this corner right here in the top of that fender. This has been buffed, half the hood, and I'm going to leave the rest of the hood covered with the nice, nasty water spots and tree step stains. Let's see what it looks like.